people once again there is news reaching us and it is from the throne of oba elegushi in fact it is about elegushi and the northern wife that he brought you know many of these kings started a new trend i know and you know that kings marry more than one wife it's like a cultural practice it's like royalty it's like what they gain and what they get and just not that alone it's a culture in africa and also if you look at the bible if you look at the quran you will realize that it's not a new thing david had more than one wife it's like a practice it's like a way of life well obelegushi used to be with one woman before before he became king he had one woman who gave birth to three pretty young girls. You know, these young ladies, young girls, you know, that will soon become ladies. He felt that he needed a man here to the throne. And we understand what these things mean. Women cannot become kings, you know, not because it has not happened, but um, they have some set rules. So he needs a man. That is if that throne is still going to remain with him in his own family we know it's a rotational process it's a rotational practice anyway he decided to stretch his hand seem like olu of iwo you know they are both friends they hang out together and share common values he decided to do the same like oluwo you know they've been talking about it so he decided to like like oluwo did like him too but you know that um, they have been stretching their hands for a while into this north of Nigeria. So they decided to do like each other, to bring in northerners. It is not culturally acceptable by um, the tradition and by what we've seen over time. And people have even talked about this on this platform. Like, these people are supposed to be custodian of tradition and culture. You cannot eat your cake and have it. There are certain rules and there are certain things that you should do and you should not do. Anyway... We know that many of them do not care anymore. And if they are kings, they feel that uh, they have right over whatever it is that they wish to do. Who is going to question a king anyway if he wants to do this or that? Now, let us even forget what he wants to do or not. Let us go inside of his family. This king brought in a northerner. Some say, no, she's a full animal, a woman. Um, some say she's an Aousa woman. Whatever that is, she is not a Yoruba woman. She came from the north of Nigeria. And this woman had the only son, gave birth to the only son. And it was like, oh, my prayers have been answered. Finally, I have brought to this kingdom a boy child here to the throne. And the king is like, wow, he, he, he was so happy. Like, ah, now I have a boy child. And of course, you know, it wasn't going to go down well with the first wife, Sekinat, who felt like this is a betrayal. We didn't plan like this. And what else? What was she expecting anyway? If your husband becomes king, status have changed. Things have changed. You wouldn't expect him to keep on like that. He would definitely want a boy child. And if you cannot give, and from what we know and what we've heard, if you have been on this platform, they said that it has been said that the king cannot have a boy child. Now... Sekinat has been accused of being involved in the death. It's like the child just had a little bit of um, health issue, a little baby, and all of a sudden the child just died immediately. And they said, oh, it's Sekinat, is this and that. So what they want to do now, um, the traditional uh, practitioners and the people who are involved in many of these things, and you know what they do? You know, they have people who go into the realm of the spirit they consult oracles to find out what is this all about what happened because they felt that uh, this woman is just gallivanting from one party to the other enjoying the yoruba party party lifestyle and all of that it's like wow this is so great today i'm going to wear this courtesy my husband obeleguchi is not poor he's not a poor king being that he's a king where there is a lot to gain from selling of land and many other things. So it's like, it's more or less like party to party, party to party, party to party. So people are like, oh, she has just, you know, dust her shoulders and it's like, well, um, God gave and God takes. So they're like, are you sure that this is not a bastard? This is not a child from somewhere else. If the king 
if they've consulted Oracle or the woman who, you know, Sekina knows the husband, he knows a lot of things. So it's like, are you sure that uh, um, this child is really your own? Don't forget what we've been told over time when we were struggling about having a boy child. Well, the child died. Is that a sign that this child is not our own? Is that a sign that they brought in a bastard? So this royal... You know, royalty is not even, it's not a joke. So these um, Babalawos and these Ifa traditional practice, you know, practitioners, they decided to go deeper. Like, let us dig into the realm of the spirit. Let us consult and find out what happened to this child. Who is behind it? Is there something involved? Is it natural death? Is it anger from the wife? Some kind of spirit stronger than the woman's own that knocked off the child? Like, what is this all about? This is what they are about to investigate. They want to know. They want to go deeper. They want to find out what happened. A child cannot just die like that. How did this child just die like this? What happened? What are the medical conditions? What happened? Is it just fever? A born, newborn baby. They gave birth to this child. Everything is fresh. It's not like they gave birth to the child in the gutters. We are talking about people who have a lot of money to spend. So what happened? How did this child just drop dead? Well, the news reaching us is that uh, Obele Gushi has given go ahead to the IFA practitioners to the spiritual investigation on this matter. And uh, you know how they do it. They are going to swear. They are going to do this and that. So the king has told them first one, the two women, my first and second wife. Um, let them be aware of what is about to happen. If they are involved in the death of this child, um, it is better they confess now before we begin uh, because the king is like, I've lost a child. I don't want to just lose another woman, you know. I don't want to lose any of them again. Warn them so that they can confess uh, because he, he himself, I'm sure he knows what it is when you bring two women into your house, particularly if they are not from even the same part of um, Nigeria. It's like, so you brought a northerner. These ones are the ones... You know, people have this kind of talk, sayings, narrative about people from the north, but if they are from the south. So you think she's the best of the best. Uh, was she there when we used to be this and that and all of that? You know how these things are. So how is it going to be? How is it going to be? You know, Elegushi, there is no guarantee that he's not going to have another woman. Uh, or Belegushi this time around from what I'm seeing and from the practice and from the trend. He might uh, decide to stretch his hand to the southeast of Nigeria. He might say, okay, let us try some of these acquired bomb girls. Or are those ones too strong for us? Uh, maybe we can look for a girl from Imo State and Ambra or somewhere. Oh, uh, what else? I think we don't need any more from the southwest of Nigeria. Let us stretch our hands right, left and center. And finally, uh, some of them might say, in fact, can't we just go and get a woman from Brazil or get a woman from America? Some of the people are interested in Ifa worship and all of those tradition. That's it. It could be. We don't know. Um, they might decide to stretch their hands further, stretch their hands into all of this place. So this woman and um, get married to someone from the north of Nigeria, I know for them it's like life has just started. They've become king. They have power and authority. They enjoy this and that connections right, left and center. And they make a lot of money. So why don't they enjoy their life? So this is the one that is reaching us right now. They have started the um, investigation to know what is going on and what happened to the child that died. If there is, you know, there is still a lot that's going to happen because soon we will begin to hear the woman from the north begin to spill, begin to say a lot of things. But if the heat gets, you know, is getting close to her. Uh, you begin to hear them talk. It could be the first wife too. She can probably say, okay, you know what? This is my home. I'm not going to shake or leave or break myself for anybody. I'm here to stay. I don't care. Whatever is going to happen, let it happen. You know, it, 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 could, it could get to that point because from what we are seeing now, it's like uh, there is, there is, there is a lot, a lot, a lot that is going to go down in that family in a couple of days and of course you know what it is you know what we do here i will always keep you guys updated on whatever it is whatever info we get you know confidential information we get from that place from the legushi's palace whatever info we get i will always keep you guys updated on it so we know what's going on you know 
Um, they say they are reality, they are enjoying all of the bliss and all of that. So, definitely, if you are enjoying all of that, there are certain rules and regulations, there are certain things that comes with it, certain sacrifices that comes with it. And if you're not, if you think you can just bastardize the throne and do what the North does not do, you know, people are going to react.